Yeah, I suppose I've got to try and think of, um, try and find a spot to camp now. I'm a little bit reluctant to camp in the main stone circle because I did seem to get a lot of footfall earlier. Maybe that's it for the day, it's always hard to tell. Um, we'll see, we'll head back to that general area and see if there's somewhere a bit more, um, a little bit more hidden, a bit more uh, inconspicuous. The main stone circle looks quite striking across this little valley here, I hope that's uh, visible, especially with that slightly brooding sky behind it. I have a slight feeling it might be about to rain. What do you think, sheep? Is it about to rain? I seem to keep coming back to the um, the slightly less impressive of the two stone circles. Uh, it just feels a little bit more discreet here somehow. There's this slight dip, which I think was possibly the course of a path at one point, but there's a few different paths there. It's now blocked by these uh, reeds, whatever they are. And uh, I think that would give a tiny bit of shelter and also uh, my tent, as you're probably aware, is quite low to the ground, so uh, from a distance I don't think it would be very visible. So uh, maybe that's, uh, that's a good candidate spot. Do you ever feel cheated if there's a, a funny thing in a thumbnail that doesn't appear in the actual video? Well, I've been standing here taking pictures of myself with a stone circle and a leak. And there you go, there's the, the, the video footage counterpart to that still image. Okay, welcome to the uh, stone circle kitchen. Stone just behind me. So um, yes, I think I'm going to um, have to try and lengthen the time before I pitch uh, by cooking dinner. So it's a bit of a weird meal uh, today. Uh, I, I was hoping I would get to Wales and then go to some local shops, uh, you know, in... Um, had a brief stop at Llandudno Junction and also um, uh, arrived at Penmine Mower, glorious location for co op. Um, and I thought, well, oh, you know, I'll, I'll find some, you know, local produce and um, make a sort of Welsh themed meal. Uh, I thought I might possibly find a Glamorgan's the other side of Wales, but I thought, you know, Glamorgan sausages, and lava bread, and but um, the three supermarkets I tried didn't have any of those things. So um, it's only going to be very tenuously Welsh. Um, picked up this odd, it's very crumpled now. Some ravioli that claims to be made with spinach and wild garlic. I imagine more the former and less of the latter. Um, and, um, you know, uh, the sort of minimum sort of tip of the, tip of the hat, nod of the hat, uh, nod that I could do to Wales, a leak. Um, and I've got some um, <laughs> nondescript protein to somehow incorporate into that um, and um, I had a stock cube from home and a tiny bit of oil so uh, I'll see what I can do with those um, ingredients not going to be the most um, chefy of meals but uh, it will um, it will be hopefully warm and filling and uh, that's probably all I need now all right got there in the end um, okay first thing to do boil the uh, this is the rest of the water that I filtered earlier from the stream uh, if it looks slightly off color it may just be coffee in there earlier so what have we got there 300 milliliters or so it's probably enough to do at least some ravioli usual Morak uh, you probably haven't seen me chop a leek before. Uh, um, and these things can be quite muddy, which is the downside. So I um, don't really have a good way of washing this, but um, never mind. I'll just try and uh, work around that by peeling it instead. Um, I don't need a huge amount. It's really just there for... Um, for, uh, you know, trying to um, pay my respects, is that the word, to, to Wales? Um, what do you think? Just rings, perhaps? Chopping a leek in a stone circle. 
for the YouTubes. A couple of people just walked past. Oh well, um, never mind. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm just, you know, chopping a leek in a stone circle. Everyone does that. Don't they? Right. Um, so this um, uh, bazaar. I think this is Dutch. Actually, you don't care, do you? <laughs> if you're interested in my weird um, protein sources. Um, uh, so I just have a tiny bit of a, the usual cute um, olive oil bottle. The, the lid had started to get a bit loose, which is not really what you want with a bottle of oil. So, um, um, uh, you know, this is the, the backup. That's probably just about enough to fry those, uh, those leeks and this bizarre stuff. Is that slightly brown water at a boil now? So um, I don't know how much of this we're going to be able to fit in, but uh, uh, it says bring a large pan of boiling water. I mean, who has a large pan of boiling water in a camping environment? Oh, no, I might actually get all of that in. Who knows? Yeah, it'll sort of go in. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Um, Shall I put that stock cube in there as well while I'm at it? A little bit of extra flavour. Uh, I might just, uh, I might take that off, put the lid on, it's, um, um, so this can have a bit of a fry. Hey, so on with the, um, whatever the hell this is. Chicken and leeks. Um, very loose definition of chicken. Blah, 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 there's some, um, Jebrit Shamatam, which I'm going to open with some haste because that's, um, that's burning a bit on the bottom. And as always, this being Tweedy Outdoors cooking, I want to put a slosh of wine in. I could probably have uh, used the water from there, but anyway, here we go. Haven't even tasted it yet. It's already going into cooking. Bit of a wonky angle, but I feel it would be very remiss of me to not give the, uh, the wine a proper taste. Uh, Domain Cuyo. Cuyo? C O I L L O T. Very soft. Mmm. Nice sort of berry fruit. Um, not hugely acidic. Very gentle. Mmm, nice. It's having a nice bubble away now. The, um, I tested a bit of leek just now and it was definitely on the um, al dente side. I'm not sure leeks are meant to be al dente. So, um, I mean, I might as well just let that bubble away. The, um, the fresh pasta will be cooked, or well, probably overcooked by now. At some point I will, um, I will incorporate that into there and that's, that's basically it. What a very um, sophisticated bit of cooking. What have we got? Fake chicken, leeks, and a red wine sort of sauce, uh, and some um, apparently spinach and wild garlic ravioli, though, although I believe the uh, wild garlic component when I see it slash taste it. Final stage of whatever this is I'm making. I'm going to uh, integrate the... Uh, integrate? <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm going to put this ravioli in there. Let that warm through one last time. Water from a stream. Mmm. Yeah. I'm gonna mix that around a bit so it doesn't just look like <laughs> ravioli on top of some um, completely hidden substance underneath. Well, you know, you get the idea. Finished dish. I don't think it looks terrible, does it? Let's give a bit of this. Apparently spinach and wild garlic uh, ravioli go. It tastes um, it tastes herby. I'm sure I'm getting much of a sense of wild garlic, but it's not bad. Not actually terribly overcooked either. Um, bit of this. Um, pretend it's chicken. Come on, <laughs> play along. Hmm. And um, with some persistence, mm. just a 
tiny bit of crunch left, but I would say those um those leeks are uh, leeks are cooked. Not bad for an improvised meal. Join me on a brief post dinner stroll around the um the environment, the environs. Uh tried to sort of tidy things up a little bit there get most of the uh, cooking related tat back in that small bag and, uh, this is what my uh, my nearest stone circle is currently looking like still um occasionally seeing people sort of off in the distance so uh, it's probably gone seven now I think but um Maybe one of those cases where I have to wait it out until it really is pretty much dark before uh, being able to confidently pitch. But, uh, should go and take a look at the other stone circle. We are at the other stone circle. At least it doesn't look like anyone's planning to camp there tonight unless they're suddenly uh, holding out until late. Not pitching up yet, but you know, there's no, no one else around in that immediate vicinity. Should we go and take a look at the uh, at the sea from here? I do sort of have a lump or two in the way where uh, I'm sitting at Stone Circle B. Can't, uh, you can just about see the sea, but not quite as well as uh, up on the lump here. put on the uh, stupid cravat thing. It's actually a bit chilly now. My phone still says 11 degrees, which has been which it has been saying all day regardless of uh, you know earlier on in the day I was really quite warm um, probably because I was walking up a hill with a with a bag. Um and um now still saying 11 degrees but decidedly chilly. Still occasionally seeing people walk past and um you know obviously here next to a stone circle is a bit of a uh, bit of a draw so uh, you know five minutes or so uh, ago a couple obviously had walked up the hill from Penmain Maur uh, to have a, a wander around the stone circle this time of day so uh, yeah um, it would be nice if I could just get on and um, set up the tent and then you know maybe I could sort of sit inside it a bit and warm up but uh, um, I feel like it may have to be um, you know, may have to eke it out to the last minute, about half an hour, half an hour till sunset. There's not going to be much to see, I don't think, because it's, um, that's west over there and it's pretty grey. <laughs> Am I in shot? Right, finally, I'm going to set up the bloody tent. I'm going to try and do this quickly. It's about 10 minutes until sunset. No, there is not going to be a sunset to speak of. I think at this point I'm in the clear, probably mumbling away off in the distance. Okay, <laughs> as always, far more than two minutes, but there is the uh, Nordisk, Nordisk Lofoten setup next to Stone Circle B. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's not a bad spot. I'm sort of ever so slightly sheltered by this sort of partial ditch here. There's, there is a bit of a breeze, but uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, definitely not windy. Um, and hopefully it won't get much stronger than this in the night. So that probably should be fine. I'll sit out for at least a bit longer here by the stone, um, enjoy a bit more wine. Oh, well, um, okay, I think that's it from the uh, the stone circles above Pen Main Maur this evening. Uh, it's um, just after nine o'clock and um, I think it's probably time to retreat inside the tent. I am now fully ensconced in the tent. Nice and warm in here. Uh, um, I'm surprisingly feeling a bit tired, actually, so um, I think... Uh, 
might do a bit of editing, might not, might just go to sleep, but um, either way, I shall uh, wish you good night now and um, uh, see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Uh, what time is it? About six o'clock. I would say, uh, again, by camping standards, that wasn't a bad night's sleep. Uh, rained most of the night and it did take a while to get to sleep. A tiny bit of a breeze. The tent was a bit flappy. Not nothing really to worry about but um, a bit noisy with a combination of the rain and the wind for some of the night but um, uh, now it's kind of lovely the pitter patter of rain on the tent, it's very nice to wake up to this morning I think it will be less nice when it comes to packing the tent away and it's probably still going to be raining then but um, should we have a quick look outside Oh, that, that is one soggy tent. And go, what can you see? Damp looking stone circle. That was home for the night. For all that I, uh, for all that I whinge and moan about the uh, Nordisk Lofoten being tiny and claustrophobic, I mean, you know, that, that is an obvious trade off for the fact that it's so compact and lightweight. Um, but also, it did a very good job of keeping me warm and dry last night, uh, rained for hours, um, still raining a bit now, but um, nice and dry and cosy on the inside. I enjoy the uh, pathos of me packing up a wet tent in the rain. There we go, all packed up, hashtag leave no trace. Everything, all of the wet tat is back in the bag. It is a bit damp. The uh, ponies are looking a bit bedraggled as well. But, uh, it's uh, a... <laughs> that looks ridiculous. It's a while before the uh, the first train out of Penmainmauer. Uh, I think it's about a 40, 45 minute walk back down to the station but more like an hour and 20. Well, that's all right. I'll just, I'll do it at a leisurely pace. And who knows, by some miracle, there might be some kind of um, cafe open in, um, I doubt it on a Sunday morning, but who knows, in Penmainmar, there might be something open and I can uh, have a proper breakfast. Yeah, the views out to sea aren't somehow quite as captivating this morning. I wonder why that is. Quite nice the way the uh, mist is it, or are they even low-lying clouds drifting across the uh, the valley over there, or the, uh, the opposite peak? Like and subscribe. The, uh, the stream there would probably have been a better place to collect water. Nice and fast flowing and uh, at least from this distance looks pretty clear. Well, actually I'm uh, I'm glad I've given myself plenty of time to do this walk back down into Penmainmauer, partly because uh, it's actually very pretty. Uh, the, um, the dead bracken there has an almost sort of ochre colour to it. I've never seen it quite so, um, you know, orangey red and um, well, the other reason it's good to take time over this is the um, the grass is quite wet and um, therefore a bit slippy. So um, being able to do this at a slower pace is a good idea. I think very misty down this end. I've descended into the mist. This is quite nice. I'm uh, enjoying this morning walk down into Penmainmauer. Morning sheep. Well, I uh, suppose I'm back to the outskirts of Penmainmauer. Wondering what these white flowers were yesterday, and I figured it out because of the smell. It's um, this is a patch of wild garlic. Should have grabbed a handful of that to go with my uh, dinner last night.
Right, well that's it. I'm back at Penmine Mauer. Uh, the station's just the other side of the road there. A uh, nice mist coming down from the mountains. Uh, alas, nothing in terms of cafes open in Penmine Mauer on a Sunday morning before 10 a.m. or so. So, um, still only, what is it, 8.30. Uh, no use for me, I'll be out of here in 10 minutes or so. Um, I'm just, the, the cart was open, so I've got a, a croissant um, and um, some cold coffee. Uh, orange juice, not the end of the world. So uh, anyway, <laughs> who cares what I'm going to have for breakfast. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, uh, expedition to see the Pen Main Mauer stone circles and the, um, the Neolithic axe factory. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.